All right. So welcome. This is the 19th of April. Alex and I are going to configure CrowdIn Enterprise for use by the Jenkins project. So let's share my screen. Okay, so I think what we want is jenkins.crowdin.com. This, I believe, Alex, is CrowdIn Enterprise. Am I correct? Yes, you're absolutely correct. This Boom. is the CrowdIn Enterprise instance for Jenkins. Okay, and so now um, we had previously platform labeler and some other simple things. What what should I do first? What what are my pref What are the preferences? Uh, a good start would be to invite me. Okay, and how do I do that? Yeah. Uh, you are already in the console tab. Yeah, you click on user management. Okay, and so I, now. Oh right, I I didn't sign up on this instance. So uh, let me open that myself real quick. Jenkins.crowdman.com. So so each contributor would register themselves with crowdin.com. And then we would invite them to this uh, workspace or to, yeah, to this. Oh, very good. Okay. Yeah, I just signed up real quick. And I think I should enable admin access for you short term so that yeah. you can make changes if necessary. Okay. Good. Admin access is only for the instance itself. It doesn't give access to the actual projects. Ah, okay. All right. Great. Yeah, if okay. you want to give someone administrative access to all projects, you click on the Managers tab right above Workflow Templates on the left. Okay. And would need to add me there. Oh, yeah, I'm already there because I'm an admin, okay? Okay, so, so but this is the concept of managers is, is distinct in that sense from the concept of user management. I can add a user who is not a manager. Yeah, for example. Okay. All right. If permission if permission granularity is enabled because you can you can configure crowd in, in a way that not every administrator has necessarily full access to every project okay and i don't know is there is there any compelling reason why you would think we would ever need that level of granularity uh, i don't think so okay it's just a level to fine tune permissions in case you would want to set that up. But the current Great. setup would the current setup would equal the GitHub setup where special people have admin access on the JKCI organization who can manage repositories as well. Okay, got it. All right. Now what what are my next steps? Yeah, uh, let me open it myself really quick. I uh, just need to verify my email. So otherwise, I can't open the administrative view. Uh, all right. Yeah, we currently don't have any projects or setups on here because everything is on my instance. So we could start moving over the design library, for example. But basically, crowding configuration is pretty much straightforward. Like. You don't need to do hundreds of steps preliminary to make sure people can access it. Because like you see, I, I just I just signed up and have already access to things. Mm -hmm. I don't need to configure my account or something else or give it specific permission. So yeah. So conceptually, I could move the platform labeler from where we had it before into this. Yeah. I mean, you can't say export on the one instance and import on the other instance. That is not possible, but for I could suspend it on my instance and reset up a new project on this instance, for example. Ah, uh, okay. So, but it's a su suspend and reconfigure. It's not a, it's not just a move kind of concept. Okay. No, so no. it's probably better for this if we, we create a new project here to, to do that rather than going through that suspend and restart. So... So do we want a 
an, another plugin that we then add here as part of our, our as part of our setup. Oh yeah, we could add the uh, design library, for example, it has quite a few installation strings as well. Okay. Yeah. We could head to the workspace now. Okay. Yeah, and already tells you that we have no projects or groups yet, and we could create a new project. And and the concept of a group in this, so this would be design library plugin. And prefill. Yeah, the, yeah, that's and, the typical languages. Yeah, the group concept would be like group access, like similar on GitHub. So you have a, f a few people you can put into one group and give this group access to a project rather than managing everyone individually. Okay. But considering that's only me at the moment, and you can just add myself straight, straight away. Okay, so, and I've, I've selected several, several languages here. I just say create project at this point, or is there more that I need to do? I need to delay workflow start, I, I yeah, remember. That, that would be fine. And to okay. click on the crowdsourcing workflow step, not in-house translations. Ah, because okay. Because one that people actually can interact with it. Right, very good. Okay, so choose crowdsourcing, delay workflow start. Yeah. And I chose 16 languages and that's, that's probably not terrible. Remember the selection. So this would then, then remember my setting for crowdsourcing and delay workflow start. Yeah. Okay. And for sake of making it easier, we can also delete unnecessary workflows we don't need or don't want. Ah, so that only okay. crowdsourcing or something custom is available. Ah, I see. So. So for instance, the fact that we don't, we aren't use, likely to use in-house translation or in-house machine, we could remove those from the list of templates that are presented here. Yeah, workflows are just another template. You can create your own workflows, for example, but crowdsourcing is basically the one we have used for the other projects on the other instance. Okay, so we're ready for me to press, press create project. Yeah, for sure. Okay, all right. Please upgrade your subscription plan to create more projects. Mm -hmm. uh, let me take a look real quick. Uh, organization settings. Uh, we should be on the open source plan because that is what it tells me. Oh, so am I on the wrong wrong location? I need to be this. I thought we we wanted crowd crowd in enterprise, right? And I thought that was maybe I'm in the wrong place. Let me check. No, you I, are in the right place. Let me check. Yeah, but I see, um, if you don't mind, I would share my screen real quick. Yes, please. I have, let's have it open. Uh, we need this monitor. Yeah, because this is the open source plan on the Jenkins instance. We are currently on the open source plan, but we are limited to 10 managers and 500,000 words. On my instance, I have unlimited managers and unlimited words. Oh, interesting. Okay. But we are actually both on the open source plan. Huh. Well, I have the open source plan and Jenkins has open source. I don't know if there's any difference in it. Okay. At least yeah. I have because unlimited managers and unlimited words would be pretty much needed. Right, right. We we certainly we're it's a big enough project that Okay, yes, yeah, so so the the other one that I had set up in that's not in enterprise is a different location. So I think Jenkins dot or oh well yeah, I think I mean th this this is already the right enterprise instance and we have the typical it, it, enterprise it is, layout. Absolutely. Yeah. But it has weird restrictions that the at my instance doesn't have, which is also an open source instance. Interesting. Okay, so maybe we need to ask for help from crowd in support. Okay, so I'm going to reply to them and see if Okay, now. Okay, so trying to configure our crowd in 
Enterprise yeah, we are limited instance. to 10 managers and 500k words. But we are limited to 10 managers and 500k words on our instance, while his instance, our, and it was open source, right? Yeah, it was well, the, his instance. Yeah, you could name it because my instance is actually called open source plan and your open source ad. plan. And Jenkins one is just called open source. Has unlimited has unlimited managers. Un, unlimited managers and unlimited words, right? Yes. Because my basic projects plus the three demonstration projects are already more than one million words. So right, which, which hints that Jenkins will probably far exceed five hundred thousand words. Yeah, by ease. Okay. All right. Is there something more we? So do we need to just click the the upgrade plan? I mean, if I click up. Am I on the upgrade? Or is it going to uh, ask us, do you want to pay money to upgrade the plan? Uh, Jenkins, uh, billing, upgrade plan. Yeah, upgrade your organization account. We do, can't upgrade Would this require that we, we then pay them monthly, the monthly fee. Okay. Yeah, maybe some just some mistake or misclick on their end, because I'm not aware that there's an open, that there are different types of open source plans. Because on the website, the open source plan is also advertised as unlimited managers and words. Right. Okay. It would be would be weird that I have a higher limit as a smaller project than the Jenkins instance, for example. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, so now, okay. So I'm sending that question to them. Now I saw while we're while we're waiting for their response, it looked like there is some customization we could do, like customizing our logo and and things like that yeah for example let me just close my instance real quick yeah this is pretty pretty simple organization for at a at an icon at an description and below we have the cnm record if we ever want to point to something else that's right on the system settings organization tab overview good so so conceptually we could have a crowd in dot crowdin.jenkins.io that points to this this location and then is is presented underneath the jenkins.io custom domain name yeah nice okay yeah we could basically basically go ahead and give it a, a typical jenkins like icon a banner so people actually recognize this as our instance mm -hmm. and accessing it Let me just, yeah. hey, do you want to do that or? I was going to say, let me do it because that way you can watch and you can tell me when I make a mistake and we've still got the recording. If you're okay with that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to stop your sharing and I'm going to share mine. Okay. So here it was, let's see, it was workspace no it's... no no this is this is the overview of the instance not of the organization if you want to manage the organization you click on your account icon the m in the upper right corner and click on organization settings ah there we go thank you very good okay so now i want to upload a new logo but in order to upload the logo i need to go download a logo so let's go to jenkins artwork and we could choose, let's see, I, I think, well, I just a minute, I want to see which one I've used in the doc sig, because maybe that's the one we know, we should just use the standard Jenkins logo. I, I agree, that's a nice, we, Jenkins needs you is a very nice thing, but let's just grab. Yeah, we should do the official icon here. Exactly. So now where, it, there it is, this one. Okay. So if I save that image. Okay. Oh, two fifty. Now wait a sec. I want the SVG, probably, don't I? Yeah, I think works either, but it's a rather small icon, so scale right. doesn't matter. Okay, much. so Jenkins.svg. Now, if I 
try to upload the new logo. Oh, it okay, and it wants a PNG. It doesn't. Okay, so I need, I need a bigger picture. Okay, just a moment while I get a bigger picture. Okay, edit, crop. Yes, I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but this will do for now. Yeah, possibly, but wasn't even aware that that's an extension exists. <laughs> oh, I love, I love this go, go full page. This thing is so nice. Yeah, okay, good. So now let's try uploading a new logo with this one. All right, now we need to- Just need to zoom, zoom out a bit. Oh, and, it, and I bet there is a zoom out like that. Nope, let's go a little further. See, this is where I need someone with your skills, Alex. All right, yeah, got can it. Do the, can do the fine tuning at a later point. Right, so that, that gives us Jenkins. Yeah. All right, and then a cover image, I could use any one of, of several. Let's see, we've got one on the Jenkins website, don't we? It's, it's more of a banner than a, rather oh, than an image. So would like right. it be something that is more wider than the current icons? Yeah, well, and, and this one, I would typically do something something with the Jenkins social media covers slide deck to create that. So 1500 by 500, I can do that later. Yeah. Okay, so we've we've done an organization setting now. Let's see if any if we, I got a response by any chance from crowd in. I don't see it yet. Not yet. Okay, so we continue. All right, yeah. so the organization setting is up to date. Are there other things we should configure while we wait for them to, I mean, is there a concept of a group that would matter in this case? I mean, we could create an example group of the design library, adding me in and possibly adding others in. Okay, so, and a group in this case would- No, you're not, you're, you don't need to include group. Oh, oh, just call it design library. Okay. Yeah, because so now how do I get rid of that? Already says that it's a it is a group. Right. That makes makes okay. So delete the group. Okay, so create a group design library. Okay. Yeah, and if you just select the group. Now you can click on the create button on the Lower right, lower right corner. Oh, create, here we go. Okay, and here it's, now I would have to do a project inside the group, right? Yeah. And again, that we expect that will fail because, all right, so we've got, if I do create project, it's going to say, yes, you're not allowed to create more projects. And that part I, I really don't understand because it's like they've there's something configured that's not allowing us to create projects at all. Yeah, I think that's just a misconfiguration on their end because even with the current plan, we could set up just a, such a simple project, but for some reason we are restricted or not allowed to. Okay. Um, I don't recall that I had such an issue when I set up my instance. Okay, and so here it says, welcome aboard and Oh, well, maybe we can, okay, maybe we can start with a chat session with them. Okay, we're trying to configure our crowd and enterprise. Um, and can't create a project. It says we need to to upgrade there so maybe this is the, the way to get get the quickest answer yes oh that's wonderful 
Yeah, they are rather quick responding to things. Yeah, I think this sounds fine. Well, and then it gives me hope that as quickly as they responded, we may still be able to make progress. That's great. Yeah, in the meantime, we could take care of the now obsolete templates, making sure every one selects ooh, ooh, a very good template. idea. Okay, so new tab to the right. I don't want to risk losing that. So here we go. And now your suggestion was let's go remove ops oh hey that's great yeah we have okay. them on every tab excellent yeah, just, okay that's the workflow templates option on the left workflow templates here okay and yeah, crowdsourcing say... is the one we want to use and the other one we can basically just delete because we like likely never set up in-house translations right okay and translation agency we are unlikely to fund the translation agency so Okay, good. Yeah. And if you click on the crowdsourcing one. Okay. Yeah, that's basically our current setup. Just breaking it down. We select the target language, people translate it, some approve reads it, and once approved, it's delivered. And and so this is describing this workflow diagram is describing the, the stages in the workflow. I'm not sure I understand the this arc right here, the one that seems to go from pre-translation directly to proofreading. Yeah, that would be the case if we import a project which has already translated strings. I see. Okay, where, where for instance, a plugin may have already been translated by someone else, but it hasn't been through their approval process, the approval process in CrowdIn yet. Yeah. I see. Okay, So by default, you. the default process would be that previously translated strings would be under another review before they are shipped or ignored again. Makes sense. Okay, so she's offering try to recreate one again. So let's do. Did you send them a link to our instance or? I I did. I told her. I think I did anyway. No, I said it was for the Jenkins project, but she ah, says okay. try it again. Now, how do I? I can't get there without. We, let's let's just open a new tab. Okay, new tab. <laughs> and Jenkins, whoops, jenkins.crowdin.com. Okay, and here I can try closing it. Yeah. Okay, and now create project. And, oh, oh, no, wait a sec. I shouldn't do it there. I should do it here inside the design library, create. Inside the design library group, I create the design library project. And yes. here I want, I'm going to limit it. I just want Chinese simplified, Chinese traditional, German, and French. Oh, English as well. Yeah, the default languages are customizable as well. Okay. Are, oh, good. So so if we if we have specific languages that we'd like to encourage, so let's say French and Deutsch. Okay, there we go, like that. Yeah, that would be the Jenkins default sample we could ship as default translations. Right, yeah. okay, and now I set delay, 
delay workflow start, and we're ready to press create project. Yes. Okay. Oh, and I should have done Brazilian Portuguese because we've and got that a Brazilian. And work out surprisingly well. Nice. Boom. Okay. And now what? Yeah, it's showing you a little tutorial because you, you are in your account in this instance, which you can go through as new user or just dismiss because we likely already know how to set up this project, I hope. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. The, des the design library, I have the design library. Let me design library. I think I have integrated with GitHub Actions. Yeah. So we could reintegrate it with GitHub Actions here instead of reintegrated in reintegrating it with the GitHub tab. Okay, and how would we do that? So, so back to the integration. So here it was, whoops, now did I, no, I made a mistake. Should I, I, okay, so I'm in the design library group, view the project. Yeah, that's fine. You don't, you don't with the action integration on Crawlin at all. Oh, it's just oh I, GitHub. See. I see, okay, all right. And now yeah. does the GitHub Actions integration then use, does it submit the pull requests as, as you, as me, as somebody else? It submits them as crowd and bot, but it is also configurable. Oh, good. Okay. So it submits them as a clearly distinguishable non-user. Or yeah. as, okay, great. It's just using your personal access token from crowd and as authentication method. Okay, so what steps would I need to take then? You say that that's configured from GitHub, GitHub, yeah. not from here. If you head on the if you head to the design library tab on GitHub, we just need to swap out my personal access token from my instance with mine from the um, Jenkins instance. Just need to set one up real quick. Okay, so so here we are at the design library plugin. Yeah, and if you click on settings and secrets. Secrets right here, okay. Yeah, actions. Okay. Let's scroll a bit below. Yeah, we have my current personal token. This is the one I'm using for my instance. I see. Which has access to the design library on my instance, which you can basically get rid of now because I would need to add a new token for the new instance. Okay, um, so uh, you want me to click remove? That seems... Yeah, I'm just creating a new token in the meantime. Ah, okay, so you're okay if I click remove. So I'll click yeah, remove sure. here. It's going to say, are you really sure you're okay that I remove that secret? Absolutely sure. <laughs> okay, all right, very good. That's very bold. Okay, so it's been deleted. Okay. So Maven token and Maven username, and those are used for the continuous delivery, if I remember right. Yeah. Okay. But please don't delete them. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All right. I've created a token and restricted it to the design library project. Just need to add a new one. Uh, secrets, actions, new repository secret. How did I name it in the workflow? It was Crowdin, yeah, Crowdin personal token. That secret. Yeah, and here we have the new token. Okay. Now we can close everything away. And if you reopen the workflow tab. Okay, so back here to the workflow tab. Or here to the on crowded, not on crowded, not on GitHub. Oh, oh, so wait a sec. So the open the workflow tab on Crowdin. So right here, workflow templates. No, no, no. The work, uh, the workspace tab, not workflow. Ah, workspace. got it. Okay, all right. So here I am yeah. in the workspace. And if you if we head to the design library, okay, yeah, and open the project five languages five minutes ago. Uh huh. This is what you added. I just pushed a workflow trigger on GitHub to resynchronize it. And it failed for some reason. Oh yeah, makes sense. 
if you're using Cloudian Enterprise, you actually need to tell the GitHub integration where the Cloudian Enterprise instance is. Oh, right, because it's jenkins.crowdin.com, right, okay. Yeah, I just need to exchange that real quick from intellectual sites to Crowdin, because now we have my personal access token from Jenkins trying to access my instance on intellectual sites, and that obviously won't work. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, fix master uh, crowd and pet. And so this newly added crowd in personal token, that's the one that you just created for use with jenkins.crowdin.com. Yeah. Jenkins.crowdin.com. Let me grab the project idea real quick. That is the number two. Uh, let's update my pet. All right, just gonna merge this PR real quick. Yeah, jenkins.carlin.com. The project ID is the project with ID number two. That is fine. So the things that you're answering configuration on, these are configurations on the GitHub side. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So what you're doing over here on the GitHub side is you're configuring, configuring the actions here so that it will, oh yes, here's the crowd in yeah. action. I if you see. head to the code tab, you can go over real quickly what I did in my conversation okay, with myself. The, oh, okay. The code tab here. <laughs> yeah. This is just my PR. I merged real quick can mm -hmm. visit it so it is oh, oh look at the pr okay so let's look yeah. at the pr okay this is one i just created and pulled in real quick if you click on the files changed mm, okay yeah and the commit yeah this is basically what i did i exchanged the intellectual sites instance with the official cloud instance and changed the project id Okay, and it will fill in the secrets.github token and secrets.crowdin personal token. So there's no no credential actually stored in this file. Great. No, it's, okay. it's not different from authenticating with any other GitHub workflow. Like you don't have credentials in the CD workflow as well. It's everything done through the secrets tab. Just, make, just need to make sure that the name in the workflow file actually matches the name of the secret. Otherwise, it can't find it. <laughs> Yes, so this this is important. Crowd yeah. in personal token. Okay. The crowd and project ID is the ID of the project you have in the URL. So that was this number yeah, this right the here, two. the two on the very end. Okay. Yeah. And the project URL is like the URL where you can access this project. And that's that's the base URL top level. It's and so if we if we eventually get crowdin.jenkins.io, this could then be changed to that, or does it will it need to stay the 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 non C name based? Uh, this is not something I tried out yet, but okay. the GitHub okay. action basically does use the GitHub command line interface. So I assume it can follow C name records. Okay. All right. But yeah, like you can see in the workflow, we have pull request title, create pull request, uh, pull request labels. We can basically set up how we want the action and action create PR want to look on GitHub. Oh, okay. So, so this file has... Yeah, it's, it's a rather simple file. Here's the PR title. Here's the commit message. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah that lots of more options to customize but i am fine with the current layout and the prs it creates are under the i think crowd and enterprise or crowd and bot so it makes it pretty easy to see that this is not created by a user human being <laughs> right okay and so we would see then in the closed pull requests on this we might see some changes or yes so here New crowd in translations that were committed 18, 18 days ago. Yeah. It would be something like this, the same kind of thing. Yeah, this is the GitHub Actions bot and the actual bot feature new crowd translations. That's what we would to use for that. Okay. 
Okay, so think, go yeah, ahead. I think the workflow and is it, no, this is CD. Yeah, Crowd in Action just built and synchronized with Crowd in. If we head back. Back to. to back to Crowd in. Okay, so here we are. Yeah, the current action is still running, but if it is done, we should have the pre-translated German files and other things available, I hope. <laughs> okay, so. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna have... finish the chat with them because I think that's done. And a like... big smile. I could take a look again what our plan does say now, jenkins.crowden.com. Organization settings. Okay, so organization settings was right over here. Yeah, and if you click on billing, it tells you the plan. Okay, Yet still we are still limited. 10 managers and 500,000 words, but we were able to create a project. So so we've at least got a beginning working place. We'll still likely need to ask for their, their help to resolve at least this 500,000 word limit. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, Maybe we could ask them in the chat right away. Yes. Okay. So, all right. So let's do that again. And where was my chat? It was... support oh yes good okay okay back start a conversation chat uh, concerned that At the limits, limits of current plan won't be enough for the Jenkins project. We need more words. Okay. Yeah, I could also like ask if there's actually any different kind of open source and open source plan. Yeah, because the 500,000 words are definitely far, far to less. I think on my projects overall, I have over 1 million words. So Right. Well, and, and I could easily imagine, I don't know how they count words, but I could easily imagine exceeding 500,000 words in, in not very much time with, with Jenkins. There's, there are a lot of words. Yeah, like every word is a word. I don't think they have any special counting for it. Oh, oh so, so for instance, they may not be filtering source code out or... No, no, oh, no. Oh, no, but... Oh, okay. Yeah. It's just what to translate like the translation string has 10 words you get a plus 10 on the overall word count great oh, okay so she says open source licenses have some limits checking what she can do. So you may have been lucky that your, uh, your limits are, are different than, than the current limits they set. We'll take it. I, I hope for the best. Good. Yeah, like my instance has no limits at all. I can have, un have unlimited words and unlimited managers. managers. Right. I mean, of course, I think my, my instance has limits to so just not visibly shown to me. 
right yeah <laughs> unlimited is is mythology <laughs> right welcome to the world of of cloud That's platforms right. where we can be presented myths yes yeah have some un unlimited disk space right here <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly unlimited disk space until i have to pay the bill <laughs> Okay, so the design library, and again, this project, now it's, what's happening is it will read the, read the sources from the GitHub repository, from here, or rather from here, and then present things that need additional, that need translation, ready for someone from the crowd to the invited team member, the invited people here, to provide a translation. Yeah, just enable the notification for translators about new strings. But at the moment, it doesn't import the project at all because the German translation does show it's still empty, but I completed that a couple of weeks ago. So, but I, now I do see, I do see strings here. So it's, it's as though it did successfully import the English. So I yeah, see the, the, on my screen, I see the click me, click me that I know is one of the strings. <laughs> yeah. The string step is the, is a mirror of the source strings. Okay. Just so br broken them down, broken them down out of all files and then overview it. That is not actually what you are translating. Okay. And that's also not available to translators. That is just for project managers okay, to now, not have to click through every file. If Alex, if you had any experience using Crowdin on a website managed as code like Jenkins.io is, when I see screenshots here, I think, oh wow, maybe should we consider? We have a Chinese translated Jenkins.io site currently. Could could Crowdin conceptually be used also to translate a a site like? like Jenkins.io? Uh, possibly, but I'm not sure what you mean with screenshots, like... Well, be the... so, so there are, there, I've got a project running right now with SheCode Africa that's helping us find and correct images inside the Jenkins documentation that are showing things that are no longer accurate. So pictures oh, okay. that that it no longer the product no longer looks like that because Jenkins 2.344 has a much much more attractive user interface now so here's here's one example file here i think has a bad screenshot in it come on come on nope nope i've we've been working through them and we found we found several examples so maybe it's let's let's use this one. I think this will give us one where we just say it's not a terribly bad screenshot, but it's not it's no longer act. Yeah, this one right here, for instance, that is not quite correct. It may there may be some change needed. And my thought was, ah, well, their tool has some ways of identifying screenshots that that might help us if we wanted to so long-term thing for consideration it could it could ascii doc be fed to this this system just as we're doing java properties and html files ascii doc is dot a doc no correct right dot a doc yeah. files uh I think I have it right here on the web interface, language codes, yeah, dot a doc. Uh, call it, call it enterprise. And it's okay if, if the answer is, I don't know, that's perfectly fine. It, I just, while, while we're here together, realized, oh, maybe there are more places we could use this. Yeah, I know on of my mind that, that it supports a lot of different source languages, but either I don't find the list at the moment or a doc doesn't appear right here. Yeah, but it does also support lots of languages from different projects that are not necessarily Java or Java related. So mm -hmm. 
it does work with them, but I don't have it at hand at the moment. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. And now in terms of inviting additional people, can I invite by, oh, they have to have already registered with CrowdIn. Or can I, can I send, could I send an email invitation to this email address, even though it's providing. Yeah, like I think so if you provide. Okay, but it, I suspect it wants to, I need to have already registered because here it says, yes, I could select you, but I can't select any, I can't send an arbitrary email. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that is possible, but there are lots of things like a magic link, for example, to log into the instance with us. Just could just put that in the email. People right. So if I copy this link. this link and then said, hey, in fact, I'm going to do that, actually. I'm going to send an invitation to a, a, a French speaker who's been willing to help. So if I send compose to Ruval, nope, Damien, okay. Okay, so I just sent a link. It will be a while. Yeah, currently the instance is configured that people can sign up with GitHub, with email, or via magic link and lots of other sign up Good. options. Okay. But oh, if oh. possible. Oh, go ahead. Excuse me, Alex. Oh, go ahead. I'm just reading the methods. <laughs> Five million. Please leave us a review on G2. Absolutely. Okay, and I'll do that review on G2 later so that, good, okay. All right, so word limit has been increased to 5 million and activated some more features. Okay, good. Yeah, we are on 5 million words and 20 managers. Oh, very nice, okay, excellent. I mean, the manager count is likely not a actual concern, so that would be more the word limit. Okay. Well, and and if five million is not enough, we we can always ask them ask them later. So I'm going to go ahead and end this chat. You're okay with that? Yeah. Okay. I think for a basic instance, that is fine. All right. So we've got we've got the design library group created here and a design library project. And, and now you had indicated that this has not yet, not yet shown anything needing to be translated. Yeah, for some reason, I have re-triggered the workflow twice to make sure it like sends the data to Crowder, but for some reason Crowder doesn't this pick way. it up or doesn't show it. I actually didn't open a translation file yet. Well, that's the workflow file I wanted to run. Yeah, but it's does still display them as untranslated, even if all the messages are translated. So quite not sure why it doesn't work yet. Couldn't find any file to download. Okay. Yeah, the action basically does use the GitHub comment, uh, GitHub Cloud and Comment Line interface to run the action, which did work fine in the past, but I didn't try to reintroduce it from the old instance to the new instance yet. 
So would it be useful at this point to have you guide me through doing this same sequence of configuration for the platform labeler to see if we get a different result there? Actually, I guess we've almost run out of time. So Alex, maybe it's maybe it's better we just call call that we'll we'll can plan for this for another time. Are you available during Thursday's docs office hours to try again? This week? Yes. Uh, my calendar says that is fine. <laughs> All right. So shall we? Thanks very much. We're, 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 feels like we're making progress. We've got a group. We've got, oops, now why does this not show my project? Ah, okay. Now we've got a project. And so for instance, if I want to, if I want to adjust the configuration of this, target languages it's that easy i just click there and add a new target language like i want italian and it was that easy okay now now eventually when when it starts detecting it will probably see that hey there's no italian translation at all for design library yeah, no, I mean, it, it would display that there is a translation available, but it would display the green progress bar because it's completed. Oh, oh okay. So it, it has been translated already into Italian. Uh, no, the platform labeler plugin did. Oh, oh, right. No, I was talking to design library. Sorry, platform labeler. Yes, we, we, did, we completed it. Okay. Yeah, no, only German is available at the moment. Ah, good. Okay. I don't think why it doesn't work. I don't know why it doesn't work at the moment, but I will take a look at a later time. Right. Thank you very much for your time. Are you okay if I share this recording um, in case it helps? I can make it also unlisted I, or choose not to share. What's your preference? Mm, I'm fine with sharing, though I don't know how much useful it will actually be because setting up the instance is likely less likely less. Um, informative for Excel translators. Yeah, this is the recording is mostly for my benefit, truthfully. And <laughs> I'm I'm actually okay with that because it helps me go back and refer to it later, realize, oh, hey, that's okay. I did that wrong. I need to do this right, etc. All right. Alex, thank you very much. You are so kind in going through <laughs> this. Thank you. Thank you. I'm looking forward to this. I will I will talk to you then on Thursday. All the best. Yeah. See you on Thursday.